On Tuesdays this semester, you will take a proctored quiz. And I want to show you a little bit about how that's going to work. It's not quite completely uh, perfectly accurate, but I want to show you a little bit about the interface that you're going to use. So you're going to come to the CS125 quiz page. You Again, it's, you can find it on the menu uh, over here on the left. It says quizzes. You come here. Um, what's visible to you right now, so first of all, most of you won't see these, uh, these two uh, speed runs. Those are for staff for testing. Um, but there are these two practice quizzes that should be visible to you. One thing is that you will need to select a primary language to take the class in before you can see these. And you won't see quizzes for both Kotlin and Java. I can see them because I'm a staff member, but you will only see quizzes in your primary language. The other thing is, if you take a quiz in your primary language and then switch languages, you will not be able to take the second quiz in the other language. Or you can take it, but we're gonna give you the score you earned on the first quiz that you took. The reason for this is simple. The quizzes are similar, and we don't want you to take one, get a sense of what's on it, come back and take it in the other language. Uh, okay, so let me give you a sense of what the interface looks like. Normally, when you come here to take a proctored quiz, instead of this start button, what you'll see is something that looks like check. And that means you can check to see if your quiz has been opened. In order to take a quiz, it has to be opened by a staff member in confirmation that you are on the proctoring call. So what you'll do is you'll go to Zoom, you'll get on the Zoom proctoring call, and then once you're there, the staff member who's running the proctoring session will open your assessment for you. Once it's open, you hit check, and you'll see the start button and you can begin the exam. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about what the interface looks like. So I'm gonna start this practice quiz that I've set up. Um, and actually, you should take this a few times just to get a sense of how things go. So over here on the right, you can see there's some information about how long you have left and how many points you've earned. Um, our quizzes consist of a mixture of programming questions and then also multiple choice questions. And these are just sort of samples. They're sort of fun. Um, up here on the right, you'll see information about how many points are available to you. Frequently, the multiple choice questions will give you two attempts, but you'll earn fewer points the second time. So what this means is you get uh, 20 points for your first attempt and then 10 points for your second attempt. So if I get this wrong on purpose, you'll see now there's 10 points available to me and now I'll answer it correctly. One thing about this you'll notice is as soon as you complete a question, it's hidden. This is an exam security feature, so we don't want you sharing information with other people who are taking the exam. So as soon as you either get it right or finish answering the question, we'll just put that question away. It also unclutters the, uh, the display a little bit so you can see a little bit more about what's going on. Right? You can focus on the questions you still have to finish. The programming questions you'll see up here, you have unlimited attempts on all the programming questions on all of our quizzes. We want you to make mistakes. We want you to learn from the mistakes. We're not going to penalize you for it. Uh, some other courses do that. I think it's a little nuts. Um, you know, I want you to learn. I want you to keep trying. When you make a mistake, the right thing to do is try to fix it. Um, and just acknowledge the fact that making mistakes is part of programming and also just part of life. Um, all right, so here's a programming question. You know, this is kind of a variant of the one that we did earlier. Uh, this is ex the exact same environment that you use on the homework. Um, and I want to point out that there are some, some things about this that apply. So, for example, I can cut and paste into uh, the, same, um, the same editor, um, but if you're not a staff member, you're not going to be able to cut and paste out of the editor into other parts of, of your environment. Uh, that's, that's not going to work. Um, so let's see what the original uh, code was. This doesn't work. Uh, so you'll see it's incorrect, but I have an unlimited number of attempts. So let's fix that. Oh, well, let's fix it the way I was trying to fix it. It's still wrong. Uh, there we go, right? Same thing with the programming questions. Once you finish them, we hide them. Um, as soon as you uh, complete the assessment, uh, it will close automatically. Um, and you'll see information about the previous assessments that you've taken here. Once we begin giving you proctored assessments, you'll also immediately see your scores over here on the, the grades page, which is it even, oh wait, I can see it right here. Uh, yeah, staff can't use the grades page, but if you're a student, you'll be able to go over here and look at your grades there once you've completed each assessment. So this is a pretty intuitive system and it's something we've been using for a while, We're pretty comfortable with it. Uh, we think you will be too. But uh, if you'd like to practice, please go to the quiz page, choose a primary language, and then you'll be able to um, practice with the practice quiz that's up there right now, just to get you familiarized with the quiz environment and how things work. There. So uh, good luck on the quizzes. Uh, we also have the first week tomorrow, 
Uh, Tuesday of the first week, we're going to give, during lab time, our first quiz. It's very easy, and it's really just designed to get you and our staff familiar with the quiz environment. The quiz takes about five minutes. Every question you can answer an unlimited number of times. It's really just a chance to review the information that's on the syllabus. Um, so not, nothing to stress out about, but really just a practice run to get used to the quiz environment, because then next Tuesday, and every Tuesday after that, we will give quizzes for real, and those will count towards your grade. So. Good luck on the upcoming quizzes uh, and feel free to ask any questions you might have about this system and, and how to use it effectively.